Hello, it's me, Philip, and in today's video, I'm going to be composite modding, hopefully, a Spectrum, a Spectrum 48K. This is the one I found from the Skip and some research, and I owe a big thanks to Chris from Gadget UK. Chris recommended that I use a 2K2 resistor and a 3K3 resistor. I did some googling. I found this schematic and this image. Uh, these are designed for the Atari 2600 but they should work on the Spectrum 48K. So that's what I'm going to do. There are some easier options where you just add a capacitor and cut the 5 volt line but I'm going to follow Chris's advice on this one and we're going to do something a bit more in depth. So let's get started. Okay, so these are my notes. I'm still a bit of a noob when it comes to this type of stuff. I'm going to try and do it similar to this little thing that I've made up and stagger the resistors like that and perhaps put a bit of heat shrink on them and get them as close to the, the transistor that I can. So I want to do something like that and then cover them with a bit of heat shrink and make it as small as possible. Hopefully it'll just lie inside of the modulator. So I want this one right up close to there and then I want this one out there. As you can see, I'm making this up as I go along, so don't take this as an instructional video. You've been warned. So this one's video out, this one goes to ground, this one's video in, and this one's 5 volts. Pop that on there. Right, so we'll open the spectrum up and we'll see if we can fit that neatly inside and get those connected up. Right, so I've got my little, my little composite mod man. So we'll get this spectrum opened up again and we'll see if we can fit that inside of the modulator. I should manage to fit that in there. I'm going to take the board out and we'll prise this top off. There's a bracket there, might be a pain. So what are my options? I think I'm going to have to take the the circuit board out. Where's my little drone? Ah, oh, I've made a mistake. I've got myself a bit carried away. Hang on, start again. I've missed this section out, so that's going to have to come off. I did state earlier in the video that this wasn't an instructional, which I'm quite pleased I did now. There's nothing to stop us doing that. A nice blob of solder on those two points. I watched a, another video with Mark Fixer's stuff and he took the whole board out and he replaced the inside board with a, a ready-made mod. So I think I'll have to follow suit and do that. And then that'll fit in there nicely. This is 5 volts in and this is video in. So we'll snip them and take this off. I'll put a little bit of this low melt on. See if I can prise that tab up. Nice little Sinclair logo underneath there. Ground point solar on. Now I'm sure in Mark's video there was a piece of insulation inside of here, but there's not on this one. Oh, there it is. It's uh, it's clear plastic. I haven't seen it. Must have been in there. So there is a bit of insulation. There's a small resistor going to the connector here. That's probably keeping that in. That's it. So the outside of the component, of what will be the component, is connected to here, so this is the ground. So I've only got to connect up the video out to here. The video in is going to have to come through here somewhere. And there's the 5 volt. The 5 volt comes through here. Can I clear that out? There's a small wire going through. And I've cut it off there. So there's the hole at the bottom 
where the 5 volt lead comes through. I'm assuming that hole's insulated from the case. It has to be. Got some single core wire, but it's probably going to be a little bit too. Yeah, it's a bit too. If I push them out. So now I could just pop some cables through there. So I'm going to put that onto there, these little wires on, I'll not get confused because I'll know that the, the red is for the voltage and the yellow is for the video. I'm going to be a bit disappointed if this doesn't work. I've, I've put a lot of effort into this. Put that through there. I could put them through the same hole. I kind of want for neatness the video out there just to go straight to there. Just doesn't fit very well. That would be ground. This is going to snap if I keep playing with it. That's not going to fit. That's not going in nicely at all. I want to open this hole up and move them over to these two. I think I'm making this a lot more complicated than what, I, what it needs to be. So I can get this. So now we can move these further along, like that, that fits much better. This needs to be connected to there and ground just needs to go to the bottom of the case. What I'll do, I'll put a little bit of tubing on the ground one there. And get that soldered onto there. It's really annoying, it's a fraction too long and now it's snapped off there. Let's use a little bit of stranded. So much for keeping this as small as possible, it's getting bigger and bigger every time I do something with it. I want that to fit in there, slot that through both of them, pop that in the, through the hole. This ground wire just needs to go over to there. And that's that. So we'll pop the bottom on, that's some protection. I'll, I'll be honest, it's been a bit of a faff on. Got the mod there inside the modulator. Let's put it back together and see if it's working. I'm going to get the... I'm going to get these two put into place first. So there's my 5 volt and video in. The ground pin has came undone. It's right at the blooming bottom. That's it. I'm going to test that before I do anything else. I'm going to use the white for composite. Okay, so this is it. So we've got the... Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Power supply set to 9 volts and power on now. And there we go. It does work. Excellent. I've managed to do it. So if that's composite, I should be able to get that through my little AV capture card. Let's try that. So there's the, the AV capture. It looks quite dark. I could probably brighten it up a bit in OBS. Just before I put this back together. So this has been a success, but it's been a bit of a pain in the bum. I will do the same thing again, but this resistor here that has to go to ground. If I'd bent that backwards that way and I'd brought it out the back, that would have sat much easier. So that's what I would do next time. I would just bend that one back this way and then the whole thing would have lay flat and I could have just tapped the ground under the, the back of the shield here instead of having to go awkwardly underneath to there. But lesson learned, I've put all this back together and I've left off the top bloody thing. Right, so we're all back together and I've had a bit of a tidy up and the picture on the TV looks very nice indeed. It's definitely a worthwhile mod. It's really nice and crisp. Lord, at least the keyboard still works. Right, there we go, Manic Miner. How do I get a tape loading error? It's not even loading from tape. Right, try again with a different one. And I don't remember that loading screen. Right, enter, start. So now I can play Manic Miner in glorious... 
composite. Hey, I might actually do this one. Oh, no. Okay, so all in all, it's been a very good mod, I think. If you've got an old spectrum, it's well worth doing. If I'd taken the resistor, the ground resistor, and bent it underneath, I think that would have been fine. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have had the problems, but that's the first one I've done, so you'll have to forgive us. I'd like to thank Chris from Gadget UK for recommending the, the 2K2 and the 3K3 transistor version. I'd like to thank Mark from Mark Fixes Stuff for the video where we remove the modulator board and put a new board inside. That gives us the idea to do that. So thank you very much. If you've got any tips or ideas on how I can improve the mod or improve the spectrum overall, please tell us in the comments below. And I hope to see you in the next one. So thanks for watching.